be positive satisfy white tail or put tail critical value is 1.6991 test statistic is way outside so reject null hypothesis reject H0 reject H0 H1 the question is true so there is evidence that The mean force is the mean force is greater than fifteen hundred pounds, right? Question so far? That's good. The p value approach to hypothesis test. Okay, so far we used test statistic and critical value, and then where the test statistic. Depends on where, outside, reject, inside, do not reject, but another way our hypothesis test is p-value test. P-value is the probability of observing a sample value as extreme, as or more extreme than the value observed, given that the null hypothesis is true. Here, our uh, practice problem, here, p value. p value. How? Determine, reject or do not reject. If, P value is greater than or equal to alpha. Alpha is significant level. Do not reject. If P value less than alpha, then reject. Null hypothesis. Let's see. Here. P value 0 0.0786. Alpha 0 0.01. This one is greater than. P value greater than alpha. P value greater than alpha, do not reject null hypothesis. Test result, do not reject null hypothesis. P value 0 0.0000. Is it basically just another way to test, uh -huh. test yourself? Uh -huh. And then, uh, sequence level 0.05. P value less than alpha. P value less than alpha. Reject null hypothesis. Reject null hypothesis. So either way is okay. Using uh, test statistic and critical value where it is 
or using <웃음> p-value. Greater than or equal to alpha, do not reject null hypothesis. p-value, less than alpha significance level, then reject null, hypo, uh, null hypothesis. Either way is okay. Okay, now. So much, right? <laughs> okay, review again. <coughs> okay, first step of hypothesis test. What? State. State hypothesis. Okay. Two tail, one tail, right? Two tail is change it. Different from two tail, right? Less than, greater than one tail. If we think it's one tail, what first? H1 first. Less than left tail. Greater than right tail. And so on. Okay, second step. Determine two tail, one tail. Done. Okay, third step. <laughs> to the two tail, T or Z. Mm -hmm. How can you determine? Standard deviation. Population. Z test. Don't know. Sample standard deviation, T test. That's it, right? And done. Yeah. Okay, now, so far, we test about population mean, population mean. So, two tail, something like this, one tail, something like this, right? Mu, 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 population mean, right? Now, if we have proportion information here, if 10 students here, 6 students female, 60%. So, using this class as a sample, we can test through university, female, male, student, proportion, right? So proportion test, proportion test, there is no t-test, always z-test, always z-test. So the title of this part is z-test of hypothesis for the proportion. And then population, proportion, denoted by pi, pi. Then if the number of successes x and the number of failures x n minus x are each are uh, at least no, five, the sampling distribution of the pop, uh, proportion approximately follow a uh, normal distribution. Okay, here x, n minus x, tension here. 6 female student, x equals 6, n is 10. 10 student, sample size, n. How many female student, x equals 6, like this. Then, if we use formula to find test statistic this one p minus pi p is sample standard deviation and sample uh, proportion sample proportion p equals this case 6 over 10 and then pi is population proportion 
it usually given pi on minus pi and so on. So this is or this one test statistic and then using a table normal distribution table then find critical value. Okay. Uh, fast food chain has developed a new process to ensure that orders and to drive through are uh, filled correctly. The previous process filled orders correctly 85% previous population. 85 based on a sample of 100 orders using the new process 94 were filled correctly at the 0.01 level of significance can you conclude that the new process has increased increased the proportion of orders filled correctly Increase, decrease. So it's one pair, right? Okay. Increase the proportion of the orders filled correctly. Increase, one tail. Okay. What first? H one first. <laughs> Don't forget. Okay. Something percent percentage. Something over something. Proportion. So this is proportion test. So first step, state. Hypothesis, proportion, pi. Okay, this is one tail test. So H1 increase. Increase. Okay. Start from one, increase. Two. More than, right? Mm -hmm. Greater than. So All uh, using the chart, increase, greater than. Ninety-four, eighty-five. Population, right? Point eight five. H zero. I less than or equal to 0.85. So, first step, second step, state hypothesis, one tail test, right? Third step, for proportion, always Z test. Okay, let's go. pH is that one sample test. First one Z test for mean, not mean. Second one T test for mean, not. Chi square, no. The last one. The first one Z test for proportion. So click the last one. No hypothesis. Point A five. Level of significance is it given? Point oh one. Zero point oh one. Number of interest X. 
94. Sample size, 100. Okay, upper, lower. Upper. Done. Test the statistic. Z equals 2.5205. Critical value. Z equals 2.3263. Outside. So reject null hypothesis H0. Reject. The question is true, right? So there is there is There is evidence, there is evidence that the new process has increased Population, a propo the proportion of orders filled correctly, right? Or you can say, we can conclude, instead of uh, this one, there is evidence, there is evidence that, okay, or we can conclude that. Either one is okay. Good? Practice problem 7 and 8. Let's see. Save the time. <coughs> Let's do together. Oops. Why there is no 7 and 8 here? Do you have? Oh, yeah. 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 This file uh, omits seven and eight. Okay. According to an ABC News survey, forty percent of Americans do not eat breakfast. Forty percent. Forty per uh, uh, proportion <laughs> test. So. You determine something from the word, 40%. Uh-huh, this is proportion test. A sample of 30 college students found 16 had skipped breakfast that day. Use the 0.01 significance level to check whether College students are more likely to skip. More likely to skip. More likely to skip. More likely. One tail. One tail. Okay. So. Is proportion test so pi, and then is one tail test h one first right? More likely greater than okay forty percent forty percent right? Mm -hmm. So that could be population right? So point four. Now H zero I less than or equal to point four, right?
Good? Okay. Proportion test is always Z test, right? Then we can open pH stat. One sample test, the last one Z test for the proportion. No hypothesis, 0.4. Level of significance, 0.01. Number of interest, X, 16. Sample size, 30. Lower, upper, upper. Okay. So, test statistic. Z equals 1.4907. Critical value, Z equals uh, 2.3263. Do not reject null hypothesis, right? Do not reject null hypothesis. This is true. So, question is not true. There is no. Evidence that college students are more likely to skip breakfast, right? College students are more likely skip to skip skip breakfast doable not very hard right steps uh, using formula the time calculation but still okay hmm. okay now number eight after a losing season there is a great uproar to fire the in a uh, random sample of 200 college alumni, 80 favor keeping the coach. Test at the 0.05 level of significance. Whether the proportion of alumni who supported the uh, coach is less than 50%. Less than 50%. Percent. Proportion less than one tail. So pi h1 first less than 0.5 h0 pi greater than or equal to 0.5. Okay. Z test, right? Mega uh, pH stat. One sample test, Z test, proportion, null hypothesis, 0.5. Level of significance, 0 0.05. Number of interest, 80. Sample size, 200. Lower, upper, lower. Okay. Test statistic. Z equals negative 2.8284. Critical value. Z equals because of lower tail, negative. Right. 1.6449. Outside. So reject. 
null hypothesis. Reject null hypothesis alternative hypothesis H1 is true. So question is true. There is evidence that the proportion of of alumni <coughs> who support this coach is less than 50%, right? So, fire. <laughs> right? Okay, any questions so far? Good. I know um, when I teach something and students don't understand, then uh, they think it's hard, then uh, your student face is very mm, like that. But now your face is very bright and then smile, so that means you understand. Right? Good? Okay, that's all. See you next class.